Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zedan's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder keg, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. I stay for it. You want to land? Sorry, sir. I will. These are dark times, no? Let in some light, I say. Excuse me. Slowly. Salam. I'm 
serious. He's at the shisha den right now, laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh man, that is so like Jeff. But come on, you can't just take their money and run. Well, apparently they're doing an interview with Klaus Stronberg. You know that white cop holler asshole who's held up at the Swedish consulate? Well, they needed a cameraman so bad. Stranberg is a lunatic. No, he is capitalism. Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Enjoy, sir. Okay, what's up? How you doing, sir? Hey, did you see who's inside? No. 
know who, sister. That girl you went out with last year. Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Looking sharp today, sir. Welcome. Please keep moving, sir. So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. What the? Checking out some noises. Stand by. How you doing? What do you do? Prison. Uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man's a traitor and that's all there is to it. Probably got cold feet about the operation. Tried to rat us out. Ask the captain. He'll know. I was never there. even there. You keep what saying that. Next wife. No, I, I hear what you're saying and I completely agree. Your feelings are important to me. I never meant to break that. Yep. Okay. I'm sorry. Take a swing at the lousy one. Hey, what are you doing? You can't be here. You, stop. See there? You can do whatever you want. Good luck with that.
General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, he got cold feet and tried to build a lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart, but... Uh... According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. Places like that and check out those giant yachts. Hey, take it easy, man. Hey, what the who the hell are you? This isn't good. Oh, I don't think this is good at all. Acknowledge. Come on, come on. You there? 
positive gunshot fire. Someone's doing something. Do you Roger that. Suspect in a disguise. Crap, I just saw him! What is it? The purpose dress is a what? Wonder how he got the time to dress up like that. Yeah, okay, I'll keep a lookout. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the Mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So, he, uh... He got cold feet. Tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not... According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. Chiseled Omar Sharif Cha. Do you see that model he's dating? I'd like to line up with some of that. Oh, God, God. Oh, could definitely blow apart. What is the metal taste, I wonder? Yeah, you look rough. You you better go see a doctor or something.
You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Well, no salute. Are you here to gloat, General Satan's order. I thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace the small pleasures. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Reza. I am sorry about your brother. He wasn't supposed to be the... I don't care what anyone says. That Zayden is not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform. That's it. No threats. No. I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza. Oh, I will kill you. If it's the last thing I do. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Zedan won't expect resistance from a tied up prisoner. are 